Hello, this is Indices and Certs, Lesson 5. In this, I will discuss about Certs and their square roots. Now, first of all, what are the Certs? Certs are irrational number, irrational numbers of the form a plus root b, a minus root b, a plus root b plus root c. For example, you can say that 2 plus root 3, 4 minus root 3, 5 plus root 7 plus root 11. All these numbers are called as certs. Now in this, this lesson, I will discuss how to simplify the certs. One term is, comes here is called as conjugate of certs. Conjugate. Conjugate simply means that when you multiply a cert by its conjugate, you must product should come a rational number. Product should come as a rational number. Rational numbers means a number which can be written in the form of P by Q. You can see the details of type of numbers in numbers chapter. For example, a third is like 2 plus root 3. This is a third, for example. Now, what should be conjugate so that it become a rational number? Now, this is 2 plus root 3 is in the form of, can I say this A plus B form. If we multiply this B by A minus B, that is 2 minus root 3. What you will get? A plus B into A minus B. This is A square minus B square. That is 4. This becomes 2 square minus root 3 square. This becomes 4 minus 3 that is 1. So product is a rational number. You know that 1 is a rational number. But that was a rational number. Again we multiply this with a conjugate irrational number. You got the rational number. So simply saying that third and its conjugate must get you a rational numbers. Other example could be let's say minus 4 plus root 3. This is a third. What should be conjugate? Conjugate would be minus 4 minus root 3. Again, in the form of a plus b or a minus root b. Product will come a plus b into a minus b. This is equal to minus 4 square minus root 3 square. Again, you get 16 minus 3. Answer is 13. So that is the meaning of a conjugate. A number or a third into its conjugate, you will always get a rational number. Next is rationalization. By name, it's clear we are talking about something of a rational number. The definition says that the process of converting the denominator into a rational number without changing the value of the third is called as rationalization. For example, a number is like this, let's say 1 upon 5 minus root, let's say 7. This is, now you can see that the denominator is a irrational number. The denominator is a irrational number. Now, I want to convert the denominator into a rational number. How I will convert? Now, this is 5 minus root 7. I will multiply and divide by its conjugate. Multiply and divide by its conjugate. I will get this is 5 plus root 7 as numerator. What is the denominator? a minus b into a plus b. a square minus b square. That is 5 square minus root 7 square. You will get 5 plus root 7 by 25 minus 7. That is 18. So in this way you can see that I have converted the denominator. Denominator of a irrational number into a rational number. That process is called as rationalization. Another example I could take like this. Suppose you need to find x is given to you as 8 minus 3 root 7. This is given to you x as 8 minus 3 root 7. You need to find the value of x plus 1 upon x. What is the value of x plus 1 upon x? You know that x is there. Now first I will get 1 upon x. 1 upon x is 1 upon 8 minus 3 root 7. Why we rationalize? Because by rationalization, addition and multiplication of thirds become easier. Now this is 8 minus 3 root 7. I will multiply with 8 plus 3 root 7. Again this is 8 plus 3 root 7. I am multiplying the thirds with this conjugate. This 8 plus 3 root 7 will be 
numerator now this is a plus b into a minus b that is 64 minus 8 square that is 6, 8 square minus 3 root 7 square you will get 8 plus 3 root 7 divided by 64 minus 3 3 the 9 7 the 63 8 plus 3 root 7 by 1 you will get 8 plus 3 root 7 by 1 that is 1 by x now we need to calculate x plus 1 by x what was x x was 8 minus 3 root 7 1 by x is 8 plus 3 root 7 3 root 7 and 3 root 7 got cancel you will get the answer as 16 so in this way you can rationalize the denominators which are certs to make the denominator as rational numbers and then easily solve the certs next thing i am going to discuss is square root of certs how to find the square root of certs square root of certs for example, you need to find the square root of 7 minus 4 root 3. You need to find the square root of this. This is third. Now, square root, when we need to find, the number inside should be a perfect square. This number inside, this third, should be a perfect square. If the number inside is a perfect square, then we can easily find the square root of this. If this is not a perfect square, you have to make it a perfect square. So, first I will discuss example examples where the number inside is a perfect square uh, perfect square in the means the number inside inserts inside is in the form of a plus b plus minus b whole square the number inside is in the form of this if the number inside is a perfect square then easily your answer would be how much a plus minus b so it means that i need to convert or number inside is always in the form of a plus minus b whole square now what is the basic form of a plus minus b whole square a plus minus b whole square what the formula says that number should be a square plus b square plus minus 2ab this is a number format now first thing i i need to see is 2ab see this is the easiest way to find the square root you only need to see the 2ab first thing you first thing you will see is 2ab once you got 2ab you need to find a square plus b square if it matches your answer is definitely clear i am going solving this example 7 minus 4 root 3 first thing i will find is 2ab where is 2ab first thing i need to find 2ab can i search 2ab in this third you can see that I will convert like this. This is 7 minus twice into 2 into root 3. First thing I will look for 2ab. Can I say this is a? This is 2 into a into b. I go 2ab. Now, next thing to check is a square plus b square. You will get a square would be how much? 2 square 4. b square would be how much? 3 root 3 square 3. 4 plus 3 7. Your answer is clear. Straight away you will write this. 7 can be written as this is 2 square a square plus root 3 square b square minus twice of twice of root 3. You got answer as this is 2 minus root 3 whole square answer is 2 minus root 3. So in less than 30 seconds you can solve this question. Only thing you need to find is 2ab. Next example I am going to take which will make the concept more clear is like this. For example this is 5 plus 2 root 6 square root now again the number inside is the form of a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square you need to find only 2ab so i will write the this is 2 into root 3 into root 2 the first thing i will check 2ab i got 2ab root 3 root 2 root 6 can be written as root 3 into root 2 now i got 2ab next thing to check is a square plus b square is valid or not now a square would be how much 3 b square would be how much 2 3 plus 2 5 your answer is clear can i say this equals to 5 5 can be written as root 3 whole square plus root 2 whole square plus twice of root 3 into root 2 you got answer as root 3 plus root 2 whole square square root answer is root 3 plus root 2 this is just for explanation this is just for explanation in exam 
you can solve this question in less than 20 seconds the only thing you need to find you got a you got b you understand that is a square plus b square is already there i will straight away write that this is square of root 3 root 2 the answer is root 3 plus root 2 sometime the number inside is you can, can't easily find 2ab let's this is i need to find the square root of this number now here i note first thing i as i told you, you need to find 2ab now 2 is not there in this third square root i will construct the 2 it's very important you can see that 2 is not there so i will multiply this this is becomes 2 into 3 plus root 5 by 2 can i get this i multiply and divide it by 2 what next this is 6 plus 2 root 5 by root 2 root 2 will be there now this number i need to find 2 in 2 ab now first now i will find 2 ab can i say this is 6 plus 2 into root 5 into root 1 square root by root 2 you can see that I, this is can i say this is a this is b i find my 2 ab 2 ab stand now a square you will find this is 5 b square is 1 so 5 plus 1 is 6 so answer would be 3 this is 3 this is 1 plus root 5 whole square square root by root 2 you will get 1 plus root 5 by root 2 your final answer this is square root of this will be like this so in this way you can easily find the square root of thirds and next classes i will continue with more examples on indices and thirds thank you